remember someone who thinks for herself. On the day I first joined the Knights, she cleaned my dormitory and gave me a tour of the headquarters. And she's helped me with a myriad of other things in the time since. Now, everyone looks at me like the older sibling who needs the younger sibling to do everything for them. <laughs> for this, she must pay. The acting grandmaster's family and mine are sworn enemies. But she draws a clear line between professional and personal matters. She saw I was capable, admitted me into the nights, and gave me lots of opportunities. So, when the time comes for vengeance, I'll afford her a reasonably soft landing. <sighs> She's so annoying. She must have read thousands of books. Could even be tens of thousands. Meaning, she can effortlessly recall any number of vile tales about the Lawrence clan's corruption off the top of her head. Accurate down to the exact date. Logically speaking, she'd be the perfect person to talk to about someone I'd like to track down, but... Swallowing my pride would be too great a challenge. Everyone loves her. What's her secret? Maybe I could learn a thing or two from her. Hmm. Or maybe not. I can't imagine a shining idol would want anything to do with a descendant of a depraved dynasty. <laughs> the Grandmaster. He doesn't like to beat around the bush and has no care for rumors or trivial matters. A good guy, I guess. I sparred with him once, which ended in a tie, but his relaxed expression and leisurely attitude clearly indicated that he had been holding back the whole time. <sighs> Such indignity. I will not let it go. I heard that bard sing a few songs about the Lorenz clan. They were light-hearted and funny stories that mocked the clan in a way I've never heard anyone else do. Even I couldn't help but burst out laughing. And for this, he must pay. Free from social mores and other people's opinions, and no family obligations. <laughs> must be an easy life. The Alchemist. <sighs> She once gave me a piece of equipment and told me it would help me infiltrate an Abyss Order camp undetected. In reality, it caused a huge explosion that completely blew my cover, and before I knew it, I was being accosted by thirteen Mita Churls. Afterwards, I marched straight back there, intending to make her pay for what she had done. But when I saw how panicked and sheepish she looked, and watched her post her results on the wall with the word fail, I couldn't bring myself to go through with it. After all, I didn't get hurt, just a little disheveled, and a little humiliated. I don't get along with some of the knights, and he doesn't think much of them in general, so you'd think that would make us allies. <sighs> but the way he always acts so aloof, <laughs> he's even worse than acting Grandmaster Jean. I want nothing to do with him. Diona? She's a miracle worker when it comes to making cocktails, and to my surprise, we get along really well. She infiltrated a tavern with the hopes of tearing down the wine industry, while I infiltrated the knights to exact my revenge on them. <laughs> a kindred spirit, it seems. This one's a long story. We ended up saving her life once when we were tracking down a batch of dangerous cargo that belonged to the Abyss Order. The Abyss Order had packed it up like regular cargo and wanted it shipped from Dornman Port to Liyue Harbor. She was acting as a consultant for the merchant vessel, where she discovered something in the cargo, and then began to investigate, putting herself in grave danger. Had we arrived just a few minutes later, it's likely she wouldn't have been so fortunate. We've kept in touch ever since. I like how smart she is. She knows the rules, but she also knows how to be flexible and act according to the situation. A few of the knights would do well to take a leaf out of her book. Also, with her smarts, maybe she could help me track someone down that I've been looking for. She does owe me a favor from last time, after all. We're not so different, you and I. We're both outsiders in Mondstadt. Difference is, Mondstadt welcomes you with open arms, but they treat me with hostility and suspicion. Our feud is for the long term, so rather than get payback on a piecemeal basis, I think I'll make things easier for myself and wait for a day when I can settle the score once and for all. It could be in ten years, could even be twenty, 
But don't worry, I won't forget. In the meantime, I'll need you to take good care of yourself and have a happy, healthy life, okay? The easiest way to destroy your enemy is to take them down from the inside, right? That's why I joined the Knights of Favonius. Since I'm a genuine Knight of Favonius, I fulfill my duties like any other self-respecting individual would. Look, I may be a descendant of a disgraced ruling elite, but I'm not a total degenerate. The role of a scout is to hunt down enemy troops, or fend off the enemy in side skirmishes away from the main battle. There aren't a whole lot of rules, which suits my style very well indeed. Not all customs of the Lawrence clan are despicable. At least the dance of sacrifice is pure and noble. It puts my mind at ease and gives me comfort. It's been years, but it's still dear to me. My body remembers every step that I... <clears throat> well, anyway, to end this digression, those who wish to master my signature Favonius blade work technique have to pass my dance class first. The life of a Lawrence doesn't include much worth talking about. Basically, whatever you say, whatever you do, people will always despise you and treat you like a potential threat to society. <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be, though. Before I joined the Knights, good grief, I couldn't even buy groceries. Even Good Hunter and Mondstadt General Goods wouldn't take my money. I literally had to go out and hunt my own food and cook it over a campfire if I wanted to eat dinner. People tell me that if I just spoke more softly or was more polite, or acted more deferentially, others may find it easier to forgive me. But the only reason they think that way is because they've never been branded a pariah before. There is no easy path to redemption when you're a social pariah. I'm more inclined to stop tiptoeing around everyone all the time and just get out there and make them respect me the old-fashioned way. As in, we square off and if they win, I humbly accept my punishment. But if they lose, they must acquiesce to my demands. Such as? Well, uh, I mean, if I want to buy a loaf of bread, take my darn money for crying out loud. The Knights of Favonius are actually fairly reasonable. At the very least, they reward merit and not social status. The reason they invited me to join their ranks is because I'd sparred with some of their crack troops and won through my own sheer skill. Being an insider in the organization will make getting revenge much easier, as it removes many of life's complications, so what's not to love? The name Lawrence only became a social stigma after the clan fell from grace. It was once an honor to be called a Lawrence, but unfortunately, most people have forgotten about that part of history. The Grand Master says that I am performing rather well as a knight, and that if it's not enough to restore the honor of the Lawrence name— it's certainly a strong rebuttal against the one-sided opinion so many people throw around. I'm quite satisfied with that appraisal. If my family members refuse to change their corrupt ways, or worse, continue to cause active harm in Mondstadt, I should be the one to end them, along with the Lawrence name itself. For once, it'd be a family obligation I'd actually enjoy. And once the deed was done, I'd be free to pick any name I wanted. Hmm, or even let you pick one for me.